What's up, everyone? Welcome to Best Clips, and today we'll be talking about upcoming Marvel movies. Marvel Studios releases an MCU Phase 4 movie trailer that features new footage and confirms release dates and titles for upcoming films. After sitting out 2020 entirely due to delays, Marvel Studios is set to have a massive return in 2021. The studio has already released WandaVision and the Falcon and the Winter Soldier TV shows on Disney. On the theatrical side, Marvel Studios has Black Widow in July, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings in September, Eternals in November, and Sony's Spider-Man No Way Home set to release in December. Beyond 2021, Marvel Studios has plenty up its sleeve with even more Disney Plus shows in various stages of development, like the Oscar Isaac-led Moon Knight series, as well as a number of films. Some of these were announced in 2019 when Marvel Studios initially unveiled their MCU Phase 4 plans, but others like Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania were confirmed since. Now, in a larger trailer celebrating the legacy of the franchise, Marvel Studios has released an MCU Phase 4 teaser that offers a bunch of new info. In the new video titled Marvel Studios Celebrates the Movies, the studio celebrated the legacy of the franchise with footage from various movies and even part of the audience's reaction to Avengers Endgame. Marvel Studios also unveiled new footage from Black Widow and Shang-Chi, as well as the very first Eternals movie footage. The video confirms Black Panther 2 will be titled Black Panther: Wakanda Forever and Captain Marvel 2 will be titled The Marvels. Further, Ant-Man 3 and Guardians of the Galaxy 3 release dates were unveiled. The COVID-19 pandemic and the resulting shutdowns across Hollywood and the movie theater industry have caused some changes to Marvel Studios' Phase 4 plans, though mainly in some reshuffling of the order. Although Marvel head Kevin Feige has said the order changes don't affect much, one such effect was revealed when Julia Louis-Dreyfus's MCU character was revealed in The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, with reports indicating she was meant to debut in Black Widow. Still, that's a relatively minor change, and beyond Shang-Chi and Eternals swapping places for the MCU film to come out after Black Widow, there are no other release slate alterations. And with the MCU Phase 4 trailer including new info like the Black Panther 2 movie title, it's clear that Marvel is forging ahead with its plans. Much of the new title and release date information is regarding sequels in the MCU, hyping up films with characters who are already established and loved by fans. The Marvels is perhaps one of the more exciting entries on the MCU Phase 4 slate though, since it will not only see the return of Brie Larson's Carol Danvers, but continue the stories of Monica Rambeau and Kamala Khan following their introductions in WandaVision and Miss Marvel. Their characters are teased by their logos becoming part of Captain Marvel's in the title of The Marvels. Still, there are completely new properties to look forward to in Marvel's Phase 4, as teased by the first Eternals movie footage and the inclusion of the Marvel Studios Fantastic 4 logo. Along with Black Panther 2, Ant-Man 3, Guardians of the Galaxy 3, Marvel Studios has a strong plan for what's to come in the MCU's Phase 4, and it's no doubt fans can't wait to hear more about the upcoming films. Marvel Studios will get on track with the theatrical release of Black Widow on July 9th, 2021. In the action-packed spy thriller, Black Widow confronts the darker parts of her ledger when a dangerous conspiracy with ties to her past arises. Pursued by a force that will stop at nothing to bring her down, Natasha must deal with her history as a spy and the broken relationships left in her wake long before she became an Avenger. Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings stars Simu Liu as Shang-Chi, who must confront the past he thought he left behind when he is drawn into the web of the mysterious Ten Rings organization. The film also stars Tony Leung as Wen Wu, Aquafina as Shang-Chi's friend Katie, and Michelle Yeoh as Jiang Nan, as well as Fala Chen, Menger Zhang, Florian Mancino and Ronnie Chang. Shang-Chi is scheduled to be released in the United States on September 3, 2021, as part of Phase 4 of the MCU. Eternals is an upcoming American superhero film based on the Marvel Comics race of the same name. The film is directed by Chloe Zhao and written by Kaz and Ryan Furpo. Eternals features an exciting new team of superheroes in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, ancient beings who have been living on Earth in secret for thousands of years. Following the events of Avengers Endgame, an unexpected tragedy forces them out of the shadows to reunite against mankind's most ancient enemy, the Deviants. Eternals is scheduled to be released in the United States on November 5th, 2021. Most of us expected footage for Spider-Man No Way Home, but they didn't show anything. However, they confirmed the release date of No Way Home December 17th, 2021. With news like different Spider-Man and multiverse story, moviegoers are excited for the Spider-Man film. Recently, Alfred Molina confirmed his return as Dr. Octopus, and he suggested that Marvel Studios would be using CGI to digitally de-age him for the film. 
The mystical new movie Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness will be hitting theaters on March 25, 2022. Benedict Cumberbatch will reprise his role as Doctor Strange, but the big new addition to the sequel is Elizabeth Olsen as Wanda Maximoff. Following her big power boost in the WandaVision finale, Wanda is expected to play a major role in the magic-focused movie. Thor Love and Thunder will be the fourth film based on MCU character Thor, and is said to be the direct sequel to the 2017 film Thor Ragnarok and the 2019 film Avengers Endgame. The Taika Waititi-directed movie will be the 29th film of the Marvel Cinematic Universe and has been co-written by Jennifer Caton Robinson. The movie will star Chris Hemsworth, Tessa Thompson, Natalie Portman, Christian Bale, Chris Pratt, Jamie Alexander, Palm Clementive, Dave Bautista, Karen Gillan, Russell Crowe, Sean Gunn, and Jeff Goldblum. Thor Love and Thunder is all set to release on May 6, 2022. Black Panther 2 now has the official title, Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Black Panther Wakanda Forever will be written and directed by Ryan Coogler. After the tragic death of Chadwick Boseman last year, Boseman's role as Takala Black Panther will not be recast, though it does leave the mantle open for a new claimant. Letitia Wright's Shuri, sister to Takala, has been floated as the potential next Black Panther. Black Panther Wakanda Forever is slated for July 8, 2022 release date. The movie enters production in June and July in Georgia and Australia. Marvel Studios' Phase 4 trailer released the official title and release date for Captain Marvel 2. The movie is titled The Marvels. It makes sense to call it The Marvels since it will feature more than one superhero with that alter ego. There is Brie Larson as Captain Marvel and Iman Vellani as Miss Marvel set to be introduced in her own Disney Plus series in 2021. The Marvels is slated for November 11th, 2022. Filming on The Marvels begins later in May in London, Los Angeles, and New Jersey. Marvel has confirmed the Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania release date. The third entry in Marvel's Ant-Man series starring Paul Rudd will release on February 17th, 2023. Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania will pick up with Scott Lang and Hope Van Dyne after the events of Avengers Endgame. In doing so, the film will continue to explore the aftermath of the blip with Scott's daughter Cassie now portrayed by Catherine Newton, already on her way to adulthood. Quantumania will also mark the MCU debut for Kang the Conqueror, a time-traveling supervillain who first appeared in 1963's Fantastic Four No. 19 and is known for trying to take over Earth by manipulating its history. Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 now has its official release date, May 5, 2023. Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 is expected to begin filming sometime this year during which time the cast will also shoot a holiday special for Disney+. Plus. Plot details for both the movie and the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special are being kept under wraps, but Gunn has hinted at an emotional finish to the trilogy. While writing the script for Guardians 3, Gunn revealed he cried a lot, so fans had better brace themselves. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one!